Assalamu alaikum dear students welcome to the course of media management course code is JMC 353 and this is lecture number 11 topic is the business model students my name is Rashid Isaac and I am lecturer department of journalism and mass communication cohort university of science and technology cohort dear students today I will discuss the business models I will discuss what is a model, what is the difference between model and theory. Business models will be discussed and different kinds of business models will be discussed and deeply ex discussed the, dis the business models. I will discuss in detail what the business models are, what are the salient features of the business models. Okay students, first of all actually what a theory is theory is actually the net cost to catch what we call the world actually a complete research and at the end result is a theory and when you present your theory in some graphical form in some image form in some chart form in some graph form so this is called a model so actually theory is the net cost to catch what we call the world and model is actually the graphical representation of that theory that is called the model students and now come to the main point that what is a business model business model is actually which is totally focused on businesses which is totally focused on the productions which is totally focused on the production of the commodities which is totally focused on the uh, provision of products and services and the purpose is to generate the revenues so students business model is focused on any kind of business like either it is advertising kind of business either franchising either, either direct sale or any kind okay students business is a description of how your business makes money how your business generates money how the company how an organization sells uh, or increase demand in the market of their products or their services students it's an explanation of how you deliver value to your target customers at an appropriate cost what are the demands of the public what are the demands of the target population what are the likes and dislikes of the targeted uh, population who lives in a specific demographic area so the company fulfills the needs and requirements of those people lives in some certain area or uh, location and people like and use and uh, uh, accept the services of that uh, uh, located uh, organization and then the company generates revenue so come to the definition a description of how your business makes money is actually a business model it's an explanation of how you deliver how the way the quality you deliver to your target customers okay students the business model a business model describes actually the process of how organization creates how an organization produces how an organization writes how an organization uh, generates and then how the organization delivers and disseminates and captures the values and captures the market interest in according to the economic condition of the people according to the social setup of the people and according to the cultural and other context relevant to those people so as students different kind of companies like Ufoon, like Telenor, like Samsung and different kind of factories and companies and universities are providing their services and their commodities and uh, according to the economic, according to the social, according to the cultural and according to the other context and generating the revenues. Okay students, business model actually is the construction and modification the other name of construction modification the name of business model the name of the business is actually the construction modif modification is also called the business model innovation and forms 
a part of business strategy actually what a business is you start a business continue a business implement in the market testify and at the end if the organizational staff if the managerial structure defines that there uh, some improvements are required to update this business model so according to this they update the business plan for upcoming uh, strategies or upcoming plans how they provide their services and goods what type of modifications are necessary or required for their organization and their staff and their production site so the process of business model construction and modification is also called a business model innovation actually what an innovation is innovation is actually a simply uh, a new idea a unique idea which is presented in the market and actually the new and unique is most of the time is acceptable in the market okay students now i will discuss two different business models first business model is in the first business model first business model testing cycle first of all business model concept is drawn and then assumptions are identified and it is assumed it is checked whether this model will be applicable will be able to implement in the market or not then the built some hypothesis is designed hypothesis actually what is hypothesis it is actually the prediction of some model it is prediction of some future work so the strong as is called hypothesis the business model concept is drawn then assumptions are built then identified assumptions then build hypothesis then test the format choose the format either this Uh, business model will be applicable in the society or not how they will check so setup is tested then at the end test is conducted then the test results are monitored and uh, checked and if at the end if the team if, if the organization if the manager the structure uh, uh, checks uh, and things that some updates are required in the current uh, business plan so they update this and design a new business concept the next one is same like the first business model access and plan is the first step then collect the data according to your business model then develop the business model then check its validity in the market then implement in the market then check and uh, analyze and monitor the business model and if the managerial staff or the structure defines that some improvements are required so they access and design another plan then again collect the data then again design an updated business model then check its validity then implement it and if uh, they find uh, again another update so the cycle continues students the silent features of two business models are access and plan is the first step data collection is the second step model development is the third step implementation is the fourth step ongoing monitoring is the fifth step and the cycle continues and the second one was first of all the business model concept was drawn and then the assumptions then hypothesis then test formats then test setups and test results okay students the three types of business models are direct sales franchising and advertising So students if you have any question you can ask my email whatsapp is given thank you so much